I can't really say if I'm getting more records or less or which countries like it's just they're just piling in not really records digital files and, and CDs and but a lot of mp3s and, and emails um, and it is like I said it's great that everyone's making music sometimes it's a, a lot to handle because there's so much to listen to but there's some really special things coming you know really uh, interesting new artists from you know France and from really cool things from Japan right now South America you know it's incredible but it's a lot sometimes you have you know get a little bit tired just from listening to music all day you have to take a break <laughs> well the, the best advice to tell anyone sending me tracks is to like first of all don't send me a track called track 1 mp3 and second of all, make sure all the information is inside. Because sometimes you're traveling, people give you a CD. Some people give me little USB sticks. But you can't believe how many people give you something with a piece of paper around it, with all the information. And I'm sorry, you're traveling, two, three weeks, you get home. Sometimes this paper gets lost. Write as much information in the file, in the file name, in the MP3 tags as possible. Because sometimes I've got some great music sent to me. I'm playing it and I have absolutely no idea where I got it from or who gave it to me. And that sucks. I'd love to be able to be more in contact with people. Producing is a really, um, it's a really uh, isolating experience, you know, you're, you're very much producing by yourself uh, with no one else around necessarily to tell you what's good and what's bad. So you have to really listen to yourself and listen to what you're doing and uh, see what you like and, and have a clear idea of what you believe in and what you want to say. Um, but then when you finish it, uh, it's really, um, it's all about sharing it with people that you respect and hearing what they think about it. Uh, but of course now with technology it's amazing to be able to um, take something that you finish in the studio and take it out to the club and play it that night and see what the reaction of the crowd is. I, I really think digital is going to be the way things are going and it's going to continue that way. I don't see any kind of reversion back to vinyl happening and it's sad for a lot of people but I think more and more it's uh, it's going to disappear. I don't think any artist can necessarily define their sound but if I were to define my inspiration I think it's the other artists that I'm friends with. Uh, hearing what they do and listening to what uh, what they make uh, always makes me want to go and make my own thing uh, because there's so many people especially on this label and people that I'm friends with who uh, work so hard and, and make stuff that's so innovative that when I hear what they do it makes me really excited to go and, and, and make something just and push myself just as hard. There is so much inspiration available with new tools uh, and with those tools available to people who you know, want to get more inspired and more involved in the music that they play and not just be locked into uh, you know, the 12 minutes on a side of vinyl or, or 8 minutes or 6 minutes on a side of vinyl. Those tools are, are really amazing. I don't know if someone has a disadvantage because I've seen plenty of DJs who can do an amazing, amazing job with just two records. Uh, on turntables and get people really, really wild. Um, but I think uh, for me and for the other artists uh, that I work with on this label, we all feel like uh, there's a lot of, lot of inspiration and access to the music that you're playing if you use the tools that are available. Mm -hmm. 